Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And someone uh, messaged me on one of my videos asking they needed to make a waving flag, like a flag flying in the breeze. The only way I could really think about how to do it, there's actually two ways. One of them, just draw out the size of the flag you want. Go to the envelope tool. And... Um, Let's see what I've got. Go convert these to curves. And maybe let's take away those center nodes and just, you know, go down with that one and up with that one and down with that one and up with that one. And that's not a bad one. But there's another way you could do it that's kind of fun and, and to play around with. And I think it might be only available in the newer versions of Corel Draw. Go up to your shape tool and grab the swirl tool. And just make the, your swirl a little bit bigger than your flag. Put it kind of in the center and hit swirl. That might be a little bit too much. But you can go back. You can change your pin pressure how fast it does it. But it it, it kind of gives you a neat, you know, if I was going to use that flag, I'd have to turn it around the other direction. Uh, to me, that looks more like it's flying. Now, the good thing about the swirl pattern, it, it kind of, you know, it's changed all four corners. And, of course, you might want it uh, flat against the flagpole, so you would just go back to your shape tool and grab that node, maybe take that node away, and then just bring this node flatter so it would look good against your flagpole. And then there's, you know, you could do that with a, let's say it was going to be a checkered flag. You know, you could do that with envelope tool, same thing. You know, take those nodes away, but I think, you know, looking at it, this might be quicker and, and kind of neat. You just take it and swirl it. I guess I ought to start. You can actually swirl the other direction. I'm going to probably mess up here. but Anyway, you can do that. You could have your shape already swirled. And you could add by go up to effects, power clip, place inside a frame. You could, you know... Uh, you know, have, you could swirl this before you put it in there a little bit. While you got it selected, go to effects, power clip, place, place inside a frame. Give that a black outline border. And that'd be a, you know, it's not going to be very big on your engraving, so who's going to really even see it? But it, um, see here I just slanted, slanted a little bit. You know, the person probably just wanted a blank flag. But those are the two ways I could come up with it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.